The SOL objective for today is Algebraic Reasoning SOL 7.12b, Apply Properties of Real Numbers and Properties of Equality to Solve Two-Step Linear Equations in One Variable. We will be solving two-step equations with the do-undo method. The equation we will be solving today is 3x plus 5 equals negative 10. The first step is to box out the terms. Make sure to include the sign in front. Do this for all of the terms. Step two is to fill in the do side of the do undo table. Write the variable used. Next, write what's happening to the variable. Make sure you start with the box that has the variable, even if it's not first in the equation. In our example, x is being multiplied by 3. The next step is to write what's happening in the second box. In our example, we are adding 5. Next, move to the undo side of the table. This side will contain the opposite operations for what's on the do side. The opposite of multiply 3 is to divide 3, and the opposite of add 5 is to subtract 5. Then just write the answer at the very bottom right. In our example, it's negative 10. Step 4 is to calculate from the answer upwards. Start with the answer and work your way up. In our example, we will input negative 10 into our calculator, then subtract 5. Make sure to treat this as a group and to press the equal key. Otherwise, you could get the wrong answer at the end. We get negative 15. Continue working upwards. So in our example, we will input negative 15 and then divide by 3, yielding an answer of negative 5. So we see our variable x equals negative 5. We can check our work by multiplying negative 5 by 3, which yields negative 15, then adding 5, which gives us our original answer of negative 10. In our next example, we will use the equation negative 1 half x plus 6 equals 8. This is a nice e equation to show what happens with division and negatives. We will proceed with steps 1 and 2 in the same manner as before, but you will need to understand that negative 1 half x is the same thing as x divided by negative 2. You must decide if you are going to treat the variable term as multiplying a negative fraction or dividing by a negative integer. We will be dividing by a negative integer. So on the do side of our do undo box, we will start with the variable term. It is dividing by negative 2. We will then move to the next term, which is to add 6. We will then move to the undo side and undo the division of the negative 2 with the multiplication of negative 2 and then add 6 with subtract 6. The answer 8 will just go on the bottom right again. In step 4, we will calculate upward just as before. 8 minus 6 is 2. Making sure we press equals after this step of the operation, otherwise we can get the wrong answer. We continue upwards and multiply by negative 2, and this gives us the final answer of negative 4 for our variable. We can check our work by taking negative 1 half of negative 4, yielding 2, then adding it to 6, which gives us our original answer of 8. This method works for all two-step equations, and it's a nice way to organize your work. In the next lesson, we'll be showing how this method works for more than two steps if we have to combine terms. Have a great day.